हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रिजवान यूसुफ वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज ऑन क्रिएटिंग क्रड ऑपरेशन यूजिंग ए एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एज यू नो इन द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी हैड स्टार्टेड पेट इन्फो मैनेजमेंट वेब ऐप इन आर्डर टू परफॉर्म क्रड ऑपरेशन वी विल कंटिन्यू वेयर वी हैड स्टॉप इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज so stay tuned and please watch till the end of the video in the last video we have created pet model class now we will create our db context class in our project i will call it pet db context class now we have to inherit this class from entity framework class db context let's add the corresponding namespace now we need to add a constructor in this class okay now we will add a constructor in this class by typing c t o r and hit the tab button two time the constructor body will be defined automatically okay here we have the constructor for this class you can see in this constructor we need a parameter of the type db context options db context options and pet db context and we and we will name this parameter as options and we have to pass the same parameter to the base constructor we will discuss it in detail in the later part of the video so for now keep it as it is when we discuss dependency injection in our application we will discuss the db context class and its constructor in details okay here in order to create database table corresponding to the model class we have to add db set property of that specific model class okay let's create that property p r o p and hit the tab button two time when we run migrations in the later part of the video our database table will be created on behalf of this property okay we will see in the later part of the video when we run migrations before going towards the migrations we have to add dependency injection in our application we will do dependency injection inside the startup.cs class okay 
here we have startup dot cs class in startup dot cs class we have configure services section let's do dependency injection in this section services dot add db context pet db context let's add the corresponding namespace options use sql configurations get connection string here we will add the name of our connection string so with this dependency injection we are going to create a instance of db context class actually in this class we have a constructor if you press f12 you can see the constructor of this class when we create the instance of this class we have to pass the constructor value what is the name of that parameter the name of that parameter is options what is the type of that parameter db context options okay so it will contain the db connection string along with db provider with db provider we are telling which type of database we are using in this application we are using sql server as database we can have other databases like my sql postgre sql etc etc so based on the database which is we are going to use in this application the name of that database it should be passed to the constructor as parameter value okay and here we will set the name of our database connection string and that connection string we will be setting in app setting dot json okay i have connection string in notepad just copy and paste and this is the name of my connection string i will copy this and paste here now we will run our migrations command in our project using nuget console okay 
and in the result of migrations our database should be created in sql server and the table of our database should be created on our on behalf of our pet model class okay on behalf of this db set properties let's run the migrations click on package man manager con console i will write add migration i will name it initial mike patients update database our migrations has been done let's see in database our database our database is created or not refresh the database is yes we have our database name pet db let's see in our connection string this is our db name let's see table on behalf of our pet model yes we have table on behalf of our pet model class so we have successfully run migrations okay now we will create a controller in our application okay right click on the controllers folder add controller and select the controller option with views using entry framework okay from here we will select our model class which is pet and here we will set our db context class and here we will set our controller name i want to set it pet controller and hit the add button as you can see using scaffolding mechanism our controller views and action method of our controller has been created successfully okay this is very important to understand for using scaffolding mechanism we have to install a nuget package in our project that is microsoft visual studio dot web dot code generation dot design 
ओके विदाउट इंस्टॉलिंग दिस पैकेज वी कैन नॉट यूज कैप फोल्डिंग मैकेनिज्म फॉर क्रिएटिंग व्यूज कंट्रोलर एंड एक्शन मेथड ओके इफ वी हैव अ लुक ऑन अवर कंट्रोलर वी हैव अ एक्शन मेथड इन द कंट्रोलर लाइक इंडेक्स डिटेल्स एंड क्रिएट एंड सो ऑन एंड we have a views corresponding to the action method corresponding to the action method in the controller i will click on create action method and go to the view yes you can see create view these action method and views corresponding to the action method has been created using scaf folding mechanism okay and here in the controller we have a dependency injection it is very important to understand how does this constructor get the value of this parameter which is db context which is pet db context okay so here dependency injection comes into the picture let's go into the startup.cs class we have added dependency injection for pet db context class here you can see so basically these lines will create the instance of this class pet db context class in this class we have to pass the db name which is we are going to use in the project and and db provider name and secondly we have to specify the connection string here you can see our connection string name so this will create a complete instance of db context class and this created instance will be passed to the constructor of the controller which has the constructor parameter db context pet db context okay so all the controller having constructor with the same parameter which is db context pet db context so the value of this instance will be passed to this di dependency injection from startup.cs class okay you do not have need to create an instance specially in the controller wherever we will make a request into the controller framework will specially create the instance of this controller so in inside this constructor the value of the constructor parameter will be set to this private vari variable which is context type of pet db context and this private variable will be used within the whole controller in order to connect with db okay hope you understand how dependency injection works in asp.net core okay